After nearly a two-year effort with the city of Naperville, one local car wash owner can now make his business more energy efficient. At the latest city council meeting, members approved the installation of a wind turbine at Brighton Car Wash near the corner of Napier Plainfield Road and 75th Street. NCTV 17's Kevin Maycheck reports. The owner of Brighton Car Wash and Detail Center, Jason Morin, was able to wash away all worry regarding his latest energy efficient initiative. He already has thermal solar panels on the roof, which preheat water used for the car wash, reducing the heating bill as much as 70% a month. His recent proposal to add a wind turbine to his business gained unanimous council approval. It's unbelievable how much time and effort we've placed into uh, getting this permitting uh, through city council. It was just such a relief. Relief that comes a year after the council turned down his initial proposal. What he brought before us last time was a different style unit, and it was closer to the residents. Those make more noise, and it was, I believe, 40-some uh, feet tall. After hearing the council's concerns, Morin revamped his plans. The new turbine will be about 32 feet high and have far quieter blades, yet be powerful enough to benefit his business. With uh, spinning the uh, prop blades on it creates a current uh, between magnets and uh, copper coils and uh, that current is put into an inverter which is switched to AC power. That power will then be used to operate the entire facility, including the car wash and vacuums. The turbine costs about $33,000, and while Morin expects to save only $500 a year in utilities, he says the real value is being a leader in green energy. We've implemented many systems at Brighton Car Wash for savings in uh, electricity, natural gas, efficiencies, uh, water usage, um, and, I, and I hope other people follow. It's the responsible thing to do. Morin expects to have the wind turbine installed by Thanksgiving. Reporting from Brighton Car Wash, Kevin Maychak, Naperville News 17. The wind turbine is partially paid for by the city's Greener Business Grant and other state and federal monies.